were standing in the machine hall, the Noit Power Station, which was built between 1970 and 1984. And it's built to help ensure that we don't lose power in the country. We're all creatures of habit. At the end of a major TV programme, we all go and put a kettle on or we flush the toilets. And that leads to an enormous demand of power on the system. So you know it was built to smooth that out by storing water up the mountain and allow it to flow through significantly large tunnels to generate power for the turbines we can see below us. A 35 metre high dam was built above Macklin Mower to increase the capacity to 7 million cubic metres and provide an upper reservoir 500 metres above Lynn Ferris, an existing lake that had been despoiled by slate workings. And at night, the same energy from other power stations is used to pump the water back uphill. Do you know it power station was the largest single construction project in Europe at the time and is the largest pump storage scheme to this day built in Europe. It was designed by a company called James Williams Partners in uh, Glasgow, now part of the Mott McDonald Group, and built by, built by a consortium of contractors. The power station was built in 11 caverns in the Elidia Mountain. We're in the largest cavern now, which is the of two football fields in length and half a football field in depth. There were 16 kilometres of tunnels driven to carry water and the traffic necessary to both build and maintain the power station. The scheme was opened in 1984 by Prince Charles and it can generate over 1,700 megawatts of power over a period of five hours. The scheme was so large it required extensive improvement to the whole road network 10 miles from here. The uh, harbour at Bangor was dredged and a roll-on-roll -roll facility made so that the large steel sections made over the northeast of England could be brought round the UK by sea and offloaded and brought to site. Sustainability was a key requirement at the time. Fish were caught in the local Limperis, the local lake, and restocked into other, other lakes. Heather was, spores were collected from the existing hillsides and stored for re-sowing and growing to plant on the dam and the upper works. Cables were laid underground, so the power was taken 9.5 kilometers away, so not to despoil the local environment. It's one of the most significant civil engineering projects built in the UK over the last 200 years. I just qualified as a chartered civil engineer in 1978 when I moved to North Wales with my family. Spent four very happy years working here on the low hydraulic system and the low reservoir. Along with more than 2,000 staff, I was able to expand my career. We employed many who went on to work elsewhere in the world. Some went over to work on hydro schemes in East Africa, some on tunnel schemes in Hong Kong, and others on the Channel Tunnel. I went over to Trinidad and came back some years later to work in Wales and finish my career. I'm delighted that Dinoic was chosen one of the major schemes for IC200. It's a magnificent scheme, it's made a difference to Britain, it secures our power supplies for years to come.